Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a super affordable Russian dive watch, a rather new addition to the Vostok Amphibian line. It's, it has a diving uh, unidirectional, actually bi-directional bezel I should say. And um, let's get started with a wristwatch check. Today I am wearing my trusty Rolex Submariner 114060, the no-date ceramic Submariner, just a great summer watch. And um, yeah, let's get into it guys. So here is the watch we are taking a look at today. This is the Vostok Amphibian. Now this is one of their newer diving watches. Um, it was a limited edition, I believe. And this is the black variant. I know there's a couple other colored dial variants. The one that comes with a white dial uh, with the black bezel, which looks pretty cool as well. Uh, but this is the black dial variant. Now some basic specifications here. Well, first of all, the price point. I paid about I believe $137 shipped from Russia came in about two weeks so that's pretty good now the diameter is 41 millimeters across the case thickness we are looking at 15 millimeters here in terms of height we are looking at 48 millimeters here in terms of uh, lug to lug or height which is really all not that bad it's pretty good for a 41 millimeter case now the watch has a plexi crystal, uh, which is kind of weird. It is domed as well, which is pretty cool though. Uh, Plexi does scratch quite a lot. I know from a hands-on hands -on experience, um, I know plexiglass is used on picture frames and stuff like that. It does scratch eventually, but um, there are some substances you can use to get rid of that. Now the crown is screwed down, located at 3 o'clock. We have a complete 316L stainless steel polished case besides the case back. So everything is a very high polish. I must say the case build is pretty good. Uh, they've definitely improved. Like if you compare this to one of the Scuba Dude Vostok Amphibias, uh, this one is much better quality. And it's much newer as well. So we have that nice high polish on the sides, the sides of the bezel, which has some grip there to turn it. The top of the lugs are polished. This is a 20 millimeter lug width. This side is polished. The crown is polished and engraved with the Vostok logo there. Now, uh, this watch has a, I believe this is a matte aluminum bezel, and you know, it's kind of weird. Some other people that have this watch actually get a clicking bezel. I did not get a clicking bezel. This is a friction-based bezel, just like the other Vostok Amphibias. So, you basically can just turn it either way, and once it goes underwater, it tightens up, and you won't be able to move it, supposedly. I haven't tested that part out yet, but on my other one, it did work. So there we go, it's a 60 minute timing bezel, and you don't have to worry about it lining up. We do have a loomed pip over here. Now the dial is a matte black as you can see. It does state made in Russia on the bottom right there. Uh, in Russian, which is pretty cool, we have a date window at 3 with a white uh, background. We have double applied markers over here, then single applied markers going all around with fine minute markings in between. We have a nice uh, broad, I would say, arrow pointed hand and a pretty broad minutes hand as well in a sword shape, which is loomed as well. So all the markers are loomed, the hands are loomed, the pip or the lollipop uh, sweeping seconds hand right here is loomed as well. And you know, it's a very simple diving watch, 200 meter rating. Um, yeah, it's really a very simple watch. Uh, the case back, as you can see, we have that's cool scuba dude, which I really like. Um, it is brushed. And I think it looks better brushed on the case back. If it was polished, it would look kind of weird. And it is screwed down as well. Now, the movement inside of this watch is the 2416B, which is a Soviet-made movement. It's basically their own movement. And, you know, it's non-hackable, which is a bit of a letdown, I would say. But I guess that's something you get used to with Vostok watches. It is hand-windable. It does have a 31 hour power reserve, has 31 rubies, and you know, it's fairly reliable. Um, I haven't put it on the time grapher yet, so I don't know about the accuracy of this one. I've only had it for a couple of days, so I will have to get back to you on that. But um, yeah, you know, some people, let me unscrew the crown and show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this crown. As you see, once you unscrew the crown, it's kind of like a cap, and it kind of wobbles off there. But that's actually done for a reason. And some people think it's just low quality and they just don't have quality control. But it's actually done like that for a reason. Now the reason being is that the actual directional clutch 
that separates the winder from the ratchet wheel during hand winding is done so that if this crown were to come off, uh, you know, when you're doing something, it would keep the same time, the time wouldn't move, the hands wouldn't move, everything would stay in place. So it's a, I guess it's a security measure, a little more, uh, it makes the watch a little more durable and resilient to a uh, tougher use. We do get hand winding though, which is pretty smooth I would say. And also there is no quick set date, uh, which some people might not like. So I'm at the final position as you can see and I'm going to set the time now. And then you just screw it back in. If you really want to quick set the date fast, you can scroll up, scroll back, and then scroll past 12, and it'll flip. So you can do that enough times to get to the date you want. It's really not that big of a deal. Now, this is a silicon strap the watch comes on. Uh, it has an anti-dust treatment, supposedly. We have a nice brushed buckle with the Vostok logo. Uh, three holes. So, you know, it's kind of like a replica of the Soup Brightlink straps uh, that they throw on some of their Super Ocean and diving watches. It's basically the same exact strap, except it's in silicone and a, a bit lesser quality, I would say. It is quite thick and it is comfortable, though, so that's a good thing. And um, one thing I don't like about this is the buckle is a little oversized. Um, you'll see when I get it on wrist, I'll show you about that. But um, another good upgrade on this model is the loom. The loom is actually really good, and I was quite surprised by that. Now, um, I will get you a loom shot uh, after I throw it on my wrist or before I throw it on my wrist. And uh, let's first now let me throw it on my wrist and show you guys what exactly it looks like on my 6.5 inch wrist. Here is the Vostok on my 6.5 inch wrist and it's a 41 millimeter case with a 48 lug to lug. It fits basically just straight across. It's quite a nice fit. It's quite compact once on the wrist. There's the strap and as I was stating earlier the buckle is a little big. It kind of bulges out right there as you can see that. Now, something I don't like. It is comfortable and it's not a bad quality strap. It even has an anti-dust treatment supposedly so you don't get all that, you know, little white fibers all over it like a lot of other silicone straps. Um, it definitely gets the job done. It's comfortable but, you know, the buckle's kind of annoying. Um, just in terms of looks, not actually feel. But, um, you know, a nice canvas strap uh, would do well on this watch. Now I want to get you guys a loom shot. Okay, here we go with the loom shot, and as I was stating earlier, the loom is pretty good. It doesn't fade away quick like the older Vostoks. It's a nice nice green color. The pip is loomed as well. I think it looks pretty good, especially outside in the dark at night. It definitely glows pretty nicely. So uh, definitely a good upgrade from Vostok there. So furthermore, guys, the Vostok Amphibia, this new Diver Limited Edition release, certainly has some nice upgrades like the loom. The crown feels a lot better. The case build is a lot better. The finishing is also better. Um, you know, the only negatives I would say is that weird buckle on the strap, and of course, you ha kind of have to accept the non-hacking, non-quickset date with this in-house faux stock movement on a lot of their models, uh, which really doesn't annoy me. This is basically kind of like a beater watch for me, like an everyday watch, something I can just throw on when I wake up and not really have to worry about, yet it looks really good at the same time, and it feels good in hand. It doesn't feel like a $137 watch. It feels more like a two or $300 watch which is a good thing there. And um, some other stuff about this watch. Well, lastly, the accuracy is actually stated minus 20, I believe, or some crazy number, minus 20 or plus 60 from Vostok. It's definitely not minus 20 or plus 60. I know my other Vostok Amphibia was gaining like 15 seconds or 20 seconds a day, um, which isn't amazing, but this is not a cost you know, certified watch. It's, a, um, it's just a very tooly, cool watch that you can wear. And that's pretty much going to sum it up for today. I actually did write a full article on WatchAddictChannel.com if you want to check it out on this watch. I will drop a link in the description below. And if you're wondering where I got this watch, I got it from Merinone. That's really the only place I use to buy Vostok watches. They're very reliable. They have good customer service. And I've never had a problem with them all three times I've ordered from them. So definitely hit that like button right now, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hope to see you guys on the next video. Take it easy now. Bye.